Okay, for this problem, we're going to work with a variable named robot that refers to the string R2D2. And we're going to call various string methods that produce Boolean values. The first one that we'll call is the method isUpper. And to get a sense of what it does, we'll call help on it. We see that isUpper is called on a string and does not take any arguments, and that the method returns a Boolean. It says here that it will return true if all cased characters in S are uppercase. So that means if all letters in S are uppercase, and there is at least one letter in S. So for the string R2D2, we've got two letters, R and D. They're both uppercase, so we expect this method to return true. Let's check out the next one. So calling stir, help on stir dot is alpha. This time, it also produces a Boolean. It's going to return true if all characters in S are alphabetic, and there's at least one character in S. So in this case, we've got a string that has a mix of alphabetic and numeric characters. The R and the D are alphabetic. The two twos are both numeric. So we expect that is alpha should produce false. Next up, we have is alnum, which stands for is alphanumeric. And this one is going to return true if all of the characters in S are alphabetic or numeric, and there's at least one character in S. So we've got two uppercase uh, letters and two digits, so this should produce true. And lastly, we've got this isDigit method. And it returns true if all of the characters in the string are digits and there's at least one character in the string. In this case, we have alphabetic characters as well, so this produces false.